Good morning from Prague here in the Czech Republic. On today's video, I'm going to be doing the ultimate Prague food tour. I'm on the search for the best pastries, beer, local food, desserts, you name it, I am trying to find it. I've heard so many good things about the food here in Prague, so I'm very excited to bring the camera along with me to try some of Prague's best food and beer. So, uh, yeah, let's get going, shall we? So, the first stop of the day is breakfast, and I'm heading to a cafe called Bake Shop, and it opens at 7 a.m. and is perfect for a light breakfast. So I'm gonna head there now. I've picked a light breakfast because I have so many different types of food to try today, so I'm gonna need to, yeah, gonna need to save a bit of room in the time I need to start the day. Prague is the capital and largest city of the Czech Republic, located in Central Europe. The city has a rich cultural history, and this is reflected in its food, which is a blend of Czech, German and Austrian influences. Hello. Hi, can I get a chai latte? Yeah, and, take away. Um, yes, please. And also, Hello. can I have one each of these? Okay, so I've got myself a chai latte. Let's give it a try. Oh, that's so good. So good. Oh, wow. The cinnamon. Ooh. And I've also got myself two of these traditional Czech pastries. They are called Rugala Korkoledove and then Rugala Reinakove. So one of them is chocolate, one of them is raisins. So um, yeah, let's give it a taste test, shall we? That was delicious. Mm. Chocolate. Oh my goodness. These are so nice. I'm gonna finish my pastries, finish my chai latte, and then head over for probably some lunch. It's getting on around about midday, so this is a very, this is a very late breakfast. Um, but yeah, so far so good. So the next stop is Kabat Bakery in search of some kolas. This is apparently a very famous Czech pastry and the place I'm going has lots of kiosks and bakeries selling the biggest array of this particular pastry. So we're gonna go check it out. It's about a 20 minute walk. So let's try and find some. Hello, Hello. do you have um, kolas? Yeah, okay. Yeah, this one's good, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so I have bought my collas and this is what it looks like. It is a, a puff pastry with, I'll be completely honest, I don't quite know what's on top, but usually it's some form of fruit or sort of like cream. Um, so yeah, I think it looks really nice. This is what it looks like on the bottom as well. Um, let's give it a try. Okay. This tastes kind of lemony on top. Cream cheese with, with maybe something lemony on top. I really don't know, but the pastry is really thick. Mmm, but also soft, quite crumbly. Yeah, it's like a cross section. Really nice, and it only costs 24 uh, of the Czech currency, which is less than a pound as well. So if you're looking for a cheap pastry, a cheap snack to get you sort of uh, you know, three a day if you're a bit hungry. Um, yeah, would highly recommend this. Mm, delicious. <laughs> so, can Hello. I please get the hot wine? 90. 90, okay. Mm, yes. Yep. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Okay, so I'm currently in a local market and I've got myself some Swarak, which is some hot wine. Uh, it's five o'clock somewhere, right? Let's give it a try. <laughs> Oh, that is so nice. It's so fruity. It cost me 90 of the Czech currency, which is approximately three pounds. So yeah, not bad. Cheers. Okay, so the time is currently 1 p.m. So it's now time for some lunch. And I'm heading to a place called Havelska Karuna, and it's located in the old town. Now it's well known for having cheap food and also self-service. So it's very, very easy and it's one of the places that the locals come to here in Prague. So uh, yeah, let's go check it out. Hello. 
Havelska Karuna specializes in traditional Czech cuisine. The great variety of meals offered is unique not only in Prague, but in the Czech Republic itself. Customers can choose from at least 40 different meals every day. Upon arrival, every customer receives a ticket on which the code of your choice of meal is marked, ready for the bill to be paid when you leave. I went for the traditional beef goulash with dumplings, as well as a half pint of traditional Czech beer. The restaurant serves between 1,000 and 2,000 people per day, and you get the opportunity to sit and chat with one another whilst you eat. Okay, so I'm currently eating my beef goulash with the dumplings and I've also got myself a beer as well. Um, yeah, I don't know how much this is going to cost just yet as you pay at the end, but so far so good. It's absolutely delicious and it's literally just like getting your school dinners at school. It's so funny going around getting the food um, and then they basically sign off what you've got on this piece of paper and that's how you pay at the end. So yeah, such a cool experience. Would really recommend if you're here in Prague and you're looking for a traditional local experience, definitely, definitely check this place out. Hello. <laughs> Thank you so much, thank you. Okay, so I've just finished my lunch and it came to 200 of the Czech currency, which is approximately seven pounds, which is really, really cheap for a big plate of food and a beer as well. And now I'm just heading to Charles Bridge to meet up with my friends Mel and Jordan, just to explore around the city. And it'll also be a much needed break from eating as I've been eating all day so far but this evening I'm going to check out um, the McDonald's here in Prague to see what they have and also the famous chimney cake so lots more to look forward to for the rest of the day in terms of all the food and drink that I'll be trying but for now a much needed break from eating food and an opportunity to explore the city of Prague. We visited Chloe's Cafe which is a brunch restaurant located in the heart of the city. They had a vast array of delicious looking cakes and hot drinks and I decided to go for the chai latte which was personalised with the logos of some of the biggest fashion brands in the world. So I've spent the afternoon with my friends Mel and Jordan and we went to a pink cafe and we've just been to the beer museum here in Prague so I'd highly recommend both of those if you're looking for yeah some of the best beers here in Prague and also to try a slightly different sort of coffee or uh, tea they have basically lots of different beverages as well as lots of delicious looking cakes as well um, but now I'm heading to McDonald's because whenever I go to a new city or a new country I always like to try and see what their McDonald's is like I've been to uh, McDonald's in Dubai McDonald's in Singapore McDonald's in China and they all have very different menus so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna see what the menu is see what I'm I don't know what I'm fancying maybe a burger we'll see Okay, so I'm here at McDonald's. I got myself a McChicken burger and some small fries. Nothing too heavy as I'm getting um, the cake afterwards, but uh, yeah, taste test. Let's see how it is. This only costs 77, which is literally £2.50. So good. So good. Okay, so the last thing on the list to eat today is the famous chimney cake. As you would have seen from a previous vlog, I did actually try one in Budapest, but I've heard they're better here in Prague. So let's go test out that theory and let's go get a chimney cake. Hello, can I have number one, please? Do you take card? Yeah, okay, thank you so much. Okay, thank you so much. Bye. Thank you, thanks. Okay, so here it is, the famous chimney cake. We've got the um, like the dough, sort of like cinnamon dough again. We've got custard and strawberries inside, whipped cream and a strawberry on top. So let's give it a try, shall we? Let's try this. I feel like it's gonna be so messy. Let's give it a try. 
Oh my goodness. That is so good. Wow. The whipped cream, strawberries, sugary dough. Okay, verdict. This one definitely beats the one in Budapest. Wow. Right. I'm gonna end the video here. I hope you guys have enjoyed um, the ultimate Prague food tour. Sorry, I've got cream <laughs> all over my mouth. I hope you guys have enjoyed, uh, yeah, the Prague food tour. I hope you guys have enjoyed me taking you around the city, uh, trying to find the best food and drink. Um, it's certainly been a very fun video to film. So let me know in the comments if you'd like me to film similar videos uh, for the different cities and countries that I go to. Um, but yeah, for now, I'm gonna finish this. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to smash the like button, comment down below, and subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next video.